Hello and welcome to this new After Effects tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can create a time warp effect or this kind of time warp tunnel. Like in my example videos I posted over the last few weeks on YouTube. So let's directly get started. I have a new project here and let's directly create another composition and call this our base tunnel. And we change the settings for that because we want to have a pretty long tunnel here. So let's change the height to 10,000 instead of just 1,000. Or maybe make it even bigger like maybe 16,000. Let's try that and hit OK. And let's create a new layer in here, new solid. The color doesn't matter at the moment. We have the same size like our huge composition and click OK. And to just show you the basis of this effect, let's just create a checkerboard real quick. There we have it, just a long checkerboard. Now we go back to our main comp and bring in our tunnel. And now we create our tunnel by simply using the cylinder effect. So we can type in cylinder and there we have it, CC cylinder and just drop it onto our tunnel. Now we just have to rotate it because at the moment it's just standing there but we want to look inside it. So let's rotate it around the X axis. Let's type in 90% and there we have it. Let's automatically create a new camera layer new camera and now it's up to you what you want to have like a wider angle or a bit closer. I find it a bit better to have like a wider angle to make the tunnel look like a larger one. So let's maybe change this to a 25 millimeter and click OK. With our camera we can hit the C button and toggle through the different camera modes. And this is our zoom, so we go to the first frame, and just zoom out. I'm quickly going to half res here, make keyframes for the point of interest and the position. Then I'm going back to the end of our composition and just going through our tunnel here. So I'm just clicking the left mouse button and dragging it to the top so that the camera flies through the tunnel. Now we just have to make it look awesome and more organic, like an energy field like look. So let's do that. But maybe we just really quickly animate our rotation of the camera. The set rotation, so let's just alt click on the stopwatch so then we can bring out an expression. So we just type in time times. Now it's up to you how far you will go. Let's try 220 and what this does is at the first frame it is frame 0 so it's 0 times 220 so the rotation is 0 and at 1 second is 1 times 220 so each second it will rotate about 220 degrees. And this is what this looks like. Maybe this is still a little bit crazy because of all of the checkerboard so just quickly create a new layer in here bring it beneath the checkerboard and add a ramp effect to it. So this is just a setup that we can see better what we are doing because now you can see the rotation. Okay, so let's work on the look of our effect here. Let's get rid of the gradient ramp and apply a noise effect to it. In this case we want to go with the fractal noise and just tweak it a little bit. And let's just give it more contrast and maybe a little bit more complexity. And let's check back in our main comp how this looks. Okay, we already have this kind of cloudy look, but as you have seen in my examples, I wanted to give it more horizontal structure. So, because as we are flying through it, I want to make it almost look like there are stripes of energy at the side walls. And I simply did that by going into the base layer and even stretching this one out more. You see now you get more of this. Obviously you can always go more with that by just scaling it up. And you could basically do that with a 
bunch of effects like a directional blur or tweak a bit more in the fractal type but I just found it a bit nice to just control the overall effect with the scaling. So let's go back to the main composition and bam there we directly see what this is doing. So but we still have this scene here which we want to adjust and I can quickly do that with a Gaussian blur. Just bring that up a little bit. So just maybe around 8. So we still see it but I will add a few more effects so don't worry too much about that by now. Next to give it this more of an energy look let's bring out the vector blur. And this is a really nice blur that I use for a lot of those effects but it's not that common to use it in these days. So let's bring just bring up the amount and you can see what this is doing. It gives it this electric field look. And while playing that back I would maybe just go to the settings and go down with our expression here to not make it that fast. This just looks a little bit more natural if you can say that for an energy tunnel. Okay there are a few more things we can do here. At first we go to the repeat edge pixels to fill that space up and create a new adjustment layer. You can go to layer new adjustment layer or just hit Control alt and y and I'll try to bring the vector blur to this layer to have a finer control over it. So cutting it out here and bringing it in here and in this case I'm also blurring the border of this tunnel a little bit. Let's quickly create a background layer like a really dark blue. Now as we have screened our base tunnel you can see it shining through but let's try to give it a nicer look by tinting it and try to give it like a more dramatic look. And what I would do now is add a little bit of a glow to it. So let's create a new adjustment layer, type in glow and just play a bit with the glow settings. What I always try to do is create one glow that just picks a lot of the colors, give it a really large radius and go down with the intensity so that we get a nice overall looking glow. And then I'm duplicating it and I'm just creating a more personalized glow so to say for the really bright parts. And this already starts to look nice. Great. So to give this an other level of detail I will go back to the base tunnel and add in a lightning effect. Then change our blending mode to screen and just create a few of them and move them in our energy field. And back in our main composition let's just lock this There you see those extra strokes and when we play this back Perfect and I love how it just gives it this extra level of detail every once in a while and of course you can play around with that change change the type of your lightning use more colorize them in a different way Basically this is how I have created the time warp tunnel effect. So for the animation let me just give you one or two more quick tips. Because what you can do when you have your main comp just bring it into a new composition and for the overall look you could create a new adjustment layer and use the optics compensation effect. And what this normally does is, is fakes the look of a lens so it distorts your image but you can reverse that and if you go really high with those values you can see whew, that this could be kind of an animation you want to do here and you see this is just on the still frame where I'm doing that so it gives it this really nice edge distortion that you may want to use for that kind of animation here really really beautiful and for a final look there's just one other 
thing that I have done to give it more color, more intensity, more of a push into the right direction. I would try to fake some kind of a chromatic aberration, like you would get it with a kind of a cheaper lens. And as we now have this really nice look to the edges of the of the frame where it gets distorted a lot, I would expect this to look like a chromatic aberration effect. So let's work on this and you will directly see what I'm doing. I'm copying this twice, soloing it and call this the green one, tinted and really go for a bright and shiny green. Copy the effect, bring it to the next one, call this our red layer, paste it onto here and paste this one into here and make it red. Now let's bring out our original one also and set this to screen. So now the red basically tints it a little bit. As I have built everything around the center, I can just rotate it by hitting R and just rotate it slightly in one direction. Same for the green, but I'm just rotating that in the other direction. And together with our optics compensation, you have that really, really nice look going on. Maybe another overall levels effect to just make the yellow more popping. And there you go. You have a nice energetic energy travel tunnel or however you want to call it. So I hope you learned a little bit about how to use the different effects, how to stack them on top of each other and how to combine different layers to create really nice and interesting looks and of course feel free to find tweak it even more stack more versions on top of each other tweak on them or maybe even try to set this whole effect just with lightning effects up feel free to experiment here as much as you want and i wish you a lot of fun in after effects